Canadian study has prompted the pharmaceutical giant Bayer to suspend sales of a drug used in heart bypass surgery. Trisilol is designed to stem blood loss and avoid the need for transfusions. But a Canadian clinical trial found that it could be linked to a higher risk of death than other drugs that were part of the study. High blood pressure is a leading risk factor for premature death around the world. But a study out of the Robarts Research Institute could lead to a more effective way of treating the condition. The treatment of hypertension remains a global challenge. Dr. Ross Feldman and his team of researchers wanted to see if simpler was better when it comes to treating high blood pressure. In some ways it's paradoxical. We have many good drugs to manage high blood pressure. and We have at least an adequate health care system to manage patients with high blood pressure. Yet there remains a significant gap between what is achievable in terms of blood pressure control and what we are achieving. Dr. Feldman's study was called STITCH or Simplified Therapeutic Intervention to Control Hypertension. It involved 2,000 patients and 45 family doctors across southwestern Ontario. Doctors were asked to follow a simple four-step process in treating high blood pressure. That was compared to doctors following the standard guidelines, which offer dozens of choices involving a large number of possible yeah, medications. Family doctors treat high blood pressure, prostate disease, management of asthma, kids' vaccinations, all of which have guidelines. And, and many of them are complex guidelines. How is anybody to keep track of a multiple complex sets of guidelines of which high blood pressure treatment is important but it's just one of them. The result of the study 65 percent of the stitch patients reduced their blood pressure to the target level compared to 53 percent in the guidelines group. The real goal of the study was to say is this simplified regimen that makes sense to us translatable into a family practice setting and results in better blood pressure control the answer to all of those was yes. Results of the study were presented this past weekend at the American Heart Association annual meeting.